Hi, Talia. Mr. Fan here. I'm going to help you finish your good copy of Starry Night. So hopefully you have your cypress trees, your houses, and your windows, and a window with the light on. You got your windows with the light off and on. So now, because I know you missed this, we're going to finish the rest. So to finish your good copy, you need to take your pencil, okay, and then you're going to lightly press on your paper to draw your other things. So one of the things you need to do is your moon. So you're going to lightly draw your moon on the right side of your paper here and i can't even see it. that's how light it is okay so you're going to do your moon right there the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to do your horizon line so remember you're going to set your horizon line and then you're going to go down and across and make sure it's not too too bumpy so you're going to do a nice wavy line wavy just a few bumps here and then stop Nice and light, you're gonna do that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do your swirling wind. So if you're doing a level one, okay, that's the one where it's one big swirl. You can do your level two, your level three, or your level four. I don't know which one you're doing, but I'm gonna do a level two, I think. So you're swirling here, and we're gonna add another swirl with it. Okay. And then the last thing that you're gonna do is you need your swirling stars. So you're gonna make little swirls of different sizes. So very, very small. Okay, maybe not too, too small, like a medium swirl. Okay, because you want to be able to put the crayons in there. So we're gonna space it out and press lightly. Okay, here we go. So this is where it gets very, very tricky. You can barely even see it. I, I can tell where it is. So this is where it gets really, really tricky is you're gonna use your crayons to fill in and to color over top. So the easiest thing to do is to don't start with your horizon line because if you put your hand on it, it's gonna smudge. So you need to start at the top. So I'm gonna start with my moon because that was the first thing I did. Okay, so I got your moon. Your moon has to be yellow. So this is where it gets uh, to be real fun is your swirls and your stars can be any color you want. So I'm gonna start with this red color here. And notice how my swirl, there's still some little blue showing. If you want, you can make your line a little bit thicker. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks really, really good. So it doesn't all have to be red. So Miss Red did level two. So I'm maybe going to add um, an orange here. So I'm going to finish this off with this beautiful green here. So I got my swirling wind right here. The next thing that you're gonna do is, you can do your horizon line, so I'm gonna do my horizon line. And so my horizon line's here. And we wanna make sure your horizon line's nice and thick. So right now I just did one little line. It's hard to see, so we got to make your horizon line a little bit thicker. So the next thing you get to do is you get to do your swirls. And what I told the class was, don't make your swirls all the same size. So this one's really small, this one's a little bit bigger, that one's a little bit bigger and thicker, and that one's just really, really big. So right now you got your stars, you got your swirling winds, you got your moon and your horizon line. And now if you wanna add a little bit extra detail, this is something fun that you get to do is, underneath your horizon line, you get to make kind of like, I don't know, little, look like little hills, but. Oh yeah, that is how you finish your starry night. With, so with pencil first, then crayon, swirling winds, moons, stars, and then your horizon line, and then your fun little colors. Good luck with your good copy, Talia.